Unit 5, Lesson 2 Sleep and Dreams Sleep is very important to humans. The average person spends 220,000 hours of his or her lifetime sleeping. Doctors and scientists have learned a great deal in the last 30 years by studying people as they sleep, but there's still much that they don't understand. Scientists study the body characteristics that change during sleep, such as body temperature, brain waves, blood pressure, breathing, and heartbeat. They also study rapid eye movement, REM. These scientists have learned that there is a kind of sleep with REM and another kind with no rapid eye movement, NREM. NREM is divided into three stages. In stage one, when you start to go to sleep, you have a pleasant floating feeling. A sudden noise can wake you up. In stage two, you sleep more deeply, and a noise will probably not wake you. In stage three, which you reach in less than 30 minutes, the brain waves are less active and stretched out. Then, within another half hour, you reach REM sleep. This stage might last an hour and a half and is the time when you dream. For the rest of the night, REM and NREM sleep alternate. Sleep is a biological need, but your brain never really sleeps. It's never actually blank. The things that were on your mind during the day are still there at night. They appear as dreams. At times, people believe that dreams had magical powers or that they could tell the future. Sometimes dreams are terrifying, but they're usually a collection of scattered, confused thoughts. If you dream about something that is worrying you, you may wake up exhausted, sweating, and with a rapid heartbeat. Dreams can have positive effects on our lives. During a dream, the brain may concentrate on a problem and look for different solutions. Also, people who dream during a good night's sleep are more likely to remember newly learned skills. In other words, you learn better if you dream. Researchers say that normal people may have four or five REM periods of dreaming a night. The first one may begin only a half hour after they fall asleep. Each period of dreaming is a little longer, the final one lasting up to an hour. Dreams also become more intense as the night continues. Nightmares usually occur toward dawn. Certain people can control some of their dreams and make sure they have a happy ending. Some people get relief from bad dreams by writing them down and then changing the negative stories or thoughts into positive ones on paper. Then they study the paper before they go to sleep again. Sleepwalking is most common among children. They usually grow out of it by the time they become adolescents. Children don't remember that they were walking in their sleep, and they don't usually wake up if the parent leads them back to bed. Some people have a habit of grinding their teeth while they sleep. They wake up with a sore jaw or a headache, and they can also damage their teeth. Researchers don't know why people talk, walk, or grind their teeth while they are asleep. There are lots of jokes about snoring, but it isn't really funny. People snore because they have trouble breathing while they are asleep. Some snorers have a condition called sleep apnea. They stop breathing up to 30 or 40 times an hour because the throat muscles relax too much and block the airway. Then they breathe in some air and start snoring. This is a dangerous condition because if the brain is without oxygen for four minutes, there will be permanent brain damage. Sleep apnea can also cause irregular heartbeats, high blood pressure, and a general lack of energy. Most people need from seven and a half to eight and a half hours of sleep a night, but this varies with the individual. Babies sleep 18 hours, and old people need less sleep than younger people. If someone continually sleeps longer than normal for no apparent reason, there may be something physically or psychologically wrong. What should you do if you have trouble sleeping? Lots of people take sleeping pills, but these are dangerous because they can be addictive. If you take them for several weeks, it's hard to stop taking them. 
Doctors say the best thing is to try to relax and to avoid bad habits. Caffeine keeps people awake, so don't drink anything with caffeine in the evening. Smoking and alcohol can also keep you awake. You may have trouble sleeping if you have a heavy meal just before you go to bed. You may also have trouble sleeping if you have something on your mind. Try to relax. If you're thinking about a problem or about something exciting that's going to happen the next day, get up and write about it. That'll help take it off your mind. You can also get up and read or watch television. Be sure to choose a book or show that's not too exciting, or you may get so interested that you won't want to go to sleep even when you feel sleepy. Sleep is important to humans. We spend a third of our lives sleeping, so we need to understand everything we can about sleep. Sweet dreams.